All right, what's up guys, it's Mitchell Ordidi, and I just got done regearing my account. We just got the buffs. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a couple videos real quick today. The first one, I'm gonna be just going over my account and showing my units. So, I'm going to start with showing my hero journal. This will be a little bit longer of a video because I'm gonna go over each individual unit, but I want this up so that if people ask me for stats and stuff, I can show them on stream. So I do stream almost every day on Twitch. If you wanna come hang out ever, You'll see me on there, or I'll leave a link down below. If you're ever on Twitch, you can just browse the category. But I'm going to go through my journal. So I'm missing Fire Ken. I'm still missing Charles. Charles Banner's coming up, though. I'm going to try to get him. Um, I'm missing Calrix Cerise. I'm going to pull 100%. Sermia, I've been trying to pull, but I never have enough resources. I don't spend too, too much on the game either. Go, uh, know that going in. I'm more, lately, more borderline free to play. I do not have Ray. I wish I did. I wish I had Selena. I have to get Alencia. I'm missing a lot of very core units. So the only ML5s I'm missing, I'm missing Sage Ball, Ambitious Tywin, which Ambitious Tywin I wouldn't use anyway, but uh, he is my permanent pre-ban in RTA. Then May Chloe, Silverblade Aramantha, Remnant Violet, and ML Ken. Those are the only ML5s I'm missing. So I have most of them. Uh, I have gotten very lucky through Mystics so far. ML Lulica is coming soon. I'm not going to have too much saved up before she comes uh i have like 1500 so i am on floor abyss 107 i am taking a break from abyss i was cranking it out but i was like i kind of want to save some of this for later i do want to beat this because i would like these because i have two pieces i want to reforge which i'll show whenever we're going over our stats but now the free gear removal is over i'm gonna just go ahead and take it slow <clears throat> so the only thing i guess i'm just going to go straight into showing my units so i have a couple of things i'll go over of uh, videos i'm going to be doing in the near future so my lilius i do not use lilius i do not use very many knights or bruisers know that going in i'm more of a cc slash cleavish player i don't use cdom i do not use a lots i cleave in like a non-traditional cleave way i guess it's a way to put it but i am eu server remember that as well so i am a little bit behind global server in terms of time played but this is just Lilius. If I have to fifth pick her and she's okay, I will. But otherwise, this is not like an ideal ideal Lilius. My Kron is on pretty decent gear. Uh, he's one that I'm pretty happy with, 4135. Uh, there's a couple pieces I'd like to change out. Like this has no crit damage. It's just crit chance with defense. So if you see, he has a little bit of bulk. And that's because of this. And then his boots have a little bit of HP. They're not the highest roll, but they work. Then this has got some effectiveness, which doesn't hurt. He does have a little bit of wasted stat. He's somebody that I just don't use that much. So the reason I use Portrait of Saviors on him is because he's, all he gets used for nowadays is he's an anti-cleave unit. So if they're picking like the single target uh, grass cleave, I'm mainly an RTA player. Those of you that don't know me, but most of you, the guys that watch this probably will, I have a feeling. But uh, at least know like that I mainly do RTA. Um, so that's all I do. I'll, I'll go actually show that real quick. So I did Decay. Uh, because I forgot to do RTA. So I did Decay. Uh, we were at 2409. We're rank 110. Uh, I'm going to be testing a few units, so I'm actually kind of glad we dropped. So then maybe I can get some matchups of people that do not know me on the ladder. Uh, I, they won't know what to expect, and I can bring some... Like you see here, I just built T-Sir, and I brought her. My Mercer I rebuilt. Uh, my Clary I rebuilt. So there's that. And then I do not do Arena at all. I just stay in Challenger. I never do attacks uh, this week. Victory zero. I do not. It's Sunday. Right now recording this, I've not done an attack all week. So I just do not personally do arena. I don't like it. I might start doing it more for videos to showcase different units in those videos. But for right now, it's just not fun for me. And it hasn't been fun since uh, season one. Which, let me show this one time real quick. Then we'll just full units. So season one, I did get the gold border. So I was top, I've got number four in season one. I was fourth place. So I missed out on getting the rainbow border by one day. Um, one day. It sucks, but it is what it is. And all the top three people all quit now. So sucks that I can't get that border, but it is what it is. So there's the list. k -Ron I already showed. The reason it's on portrait is because it's anti-cleave. So here's my Tenebria. Uh, this is what I went with with the re-gear. She isn't as bulky as I would like her to be. So with Fire Tenebria, you don't really want to go damage. Uh, you want to go, like, no crit chance, crit damage. You want to go mostly attack, health, defense, and effectiveness. The 230, uh, it's 235 speed after this reforge, but I'm going to try to get a better helmet. And then that might help me balance the stats out a little bit more. But a lot of the pieces didn't roll too good. Like, this is only 12 speed with, uh, for a red piece, this didn't roll too great. But... She has a 146 effectiveness. That's high enough for her. I use her on Abyssal Crown. Abyssal Crown is my go-to artifact for almost all mages. 
um, unless I'm going to be doing Tiger Hills. So my shoe, my shoe is almost complete. As you see, I still need three reforges, so it's going to round her up. She's got a decent amount of bulk. She's got a decent amount of crit damage. Uh, she will get crit damage from every single one of these pieces, a decent amount as well. So she'll get the crit damage. I'm going to try to replace this too, but she's not too bad. Overall, I am happy with, with her. So she'll be a little bit faster. She's very bulky. I don't know where I'll use her. I'm trying to more get into the bruiser playstyle. So right now, you if you know me, you know I do not pick anything except for a couple knights and the knights I pick are Rose Flurry, Fallen Cecilia. Those are the only three like bulky units that I pick. So I think at least. SSB isn't really bulky either. So Cigarette, she her gear is on biking because I've been one shotting Banshee trying to build T CERN, which I'll show shortly. My crowd is just on random gear. He's if I need to pick him, I can. I'm not gonna pick him, but if I need to pick him, he's like usable, but not very good. My Rose, uh, I did slow her down. I haven't been able to pick her as much anymore, but she is just on 249 speed. She's a good fifth pick uh, for me right now. I, If I have the opportunity to throw her in uh, and I know that they can't speed contest, or if they can't speed contest, it's only by one unit, then I'll throw her in and uh, she works okay. Corinne is just on Wyvern uh, debuffing gear, so that's my Wyvern 13. So Kisei, this is one of my new projects that I'm going to be releasing video probably later today or early tomorrow on. So Kisei, I have her at 232 speed with her new buffs. I'm very excited to see how good she's going to be. I have not got to use her. I used her a little bit pre-buff, and she does, she does a lot of damage. She is uh, plus 9 right now. I am going to first Mola this one because this is 30% more damage, and I'm going to Mola this skill as well once i get there but five star takes a lot of well she is she's very strong though um some of the pieces aren't the best she's kind of on like more so leftover gear because my rb took this one's pretty good because a lot of crit chance so has no crit damage roll just defense and then this has 17 crit chance three speed so the 232 speed was my goal so what i do is run her with flurry or flitica so flitica's on misconfile flurry's on defense breaking uh, or, for, or the Confile's defense breaking. Clary is on her just regular... You'll see in a second. But she defense breaks, then Kisei snipes whatever I defense break. I take one unit out of the game immediately. Doesn't work against revivers, so I have to be careful when I pick her. Because if I snipe or rile it out immediately and it just gets revived by real well, then I'm a little bit screwed in that fight. But I'm learning a bunch of... I built a bunch of new units, so I'm learning new drafts. So this is my SSB. I did just buy another bottle, so we are one month away from having a plus 30 drink. I do have a second drink, but I want to hold on to two just in case I want to build like a drink unit in the future or anything. So this is the SSB stats, 152. So I build my SSB very squishy, but very cleavy. So my SSB does a ton of damage. Uh, that's because a lot of people build uh, the non crit damage build or crit chance build and on lifesteal. But since she ha or her skill three does more damage with critical hit, I figure we'll take advantage of every part of her skill and don't go for the bulk. One of the kind of SSBs I like a lot right now are the high effectiveness SSBs. Because if you land defense break, then it basically, you could build bulk with high effectiveness and that defense break makes it to where you still get those like higher end damage just with having more bulky stats. So that's something that I might end up trying in the future and use this gear somewhere else. But So here's my Momo. My Momo is somebody that I built to try to counter a Tywin and try to counter uh, crowd control. So I counter Broman, Mui, uh, Fire Tenebri, I guess, but she's water, so double counters it. But to counter units like that, because I do play crowd control, so I want to be able to stop crowd control in case it gets played against me. So she has 265. She has a couple of reforge left. It's going to go up to 270. This will get an extra 5 plus... Four nine something like that. So it's gonna be two seventy something effect rest one eighty nine speed. Wait, no one ninety speed. So I like her a little bit faster because I just I need more speed on her. Be the problem is all my damage dealers are too fast. So even when I draft her, she doesn't cleanse in time. So but now that I have Mercer rebuilt and uh, T Cern built, I might be able to come up with some. So Dn is just on World Watch gear. I do not use her for anything. Here is my Mui. So my Mui. I've been putting gear on, taking gear off, putting gear on, taking gear off. But this is just what I had left over at the end of gearing my Tenebria and every uh, other unit that needed gear. She, They can all be reforged, so they she can get a little bit more speed and a little bit more effectiveness. I'm running her on Circuits Fantasia uh, because getting I have 180 effectiveness. I should be able to hit most units, maybe not raise or anything like that, but... Uh, I don't really think I'd be able to realistically hit them anyway. I want immunity on her, that's the problem, but I just do not have the extra immunity gear right now. I'm struggling on immunity gear. 
So with Keystay, I'm going to go over the artifact. So I'm using Alexa's best friend. I might put her on like a portrait or something, depending on if she is not having enough damage to kill the units that I want her to. I may put her on that and see if it's more consistent. And SSB, obviously drink. And then Momo, I, I want Rod. No matter what, I feel like all Momo should have Rod or else she just doesn't have the healing capabilities. Like having the turn cycling just isn't as valuable as Rod. So my Harvest Tome, is, in my opinion, just is not as effective as that. So Euphine's just on whatever gear. I mean, I need to put a chest on her. Uh, so here's my Clary. My Clary is becoming one of my more used units now that I have Kisei. So I put quite a bit of love into this. So I know you are probably looking at it. There's only 40 effectiveness. I want, I really don't need any effectiveness on my Clary. So with Clary, uh, what, how I play her is I use the S3 into a unit without effect rest. So if you go into a unit that has like just maybe a stray 6 to 12% effect res just because one of their pieces of gear rolled into it. You're going to hit it basically no matter what, unless you get 15%ed. Um, so you really don't need effectiveness unless you're going to be going into Ruel's, Kraus, uh, Deanne's turn one. But I just don't do that. I go for snipe right away. So there's no point for me to worry about building effectiveness on her. And then later in the game, when I want to go into one of those, you can soul burn. So I just save up souls and I get the soul burn and then I go ahead and snipe whatever high effect res unit I need to later within the game. So that is why I do this. I put her on Aureus personally because I play squishy units. All my units are squishy. I need some survivability with a couple nights that I do play. So that is who I use that on. Here's my biking. This is my Banshee one-shot biking. It's what I've been mainly farming just because it's fast. Uh, I think I'm going to move back to Wyvern though because I do need more Wyvern stuff. I got, I want a new T-Cern sword, but just farming for one sword is just going to feel, be, feel bad until later. So I think this is just what I'm going to keep and then i have my sid i did build sid just on regular attack gear i can draft him if i need to i guess uh for the speed imprint and he can do a little bit of damage he's not very good but his s3 does ignore uh it's our it's always advantageous element so s3 is always going to occur as long as you have 85 or above as long as you hit so i just have on gear in case i need to draft a speed imprint he's there at least vildred is just on banshee 13 build so nothing special about him right now uh me, I don't, I just don't have enough speed or imprints for him because I've been feeding my Vildred. I just pulled a Vildred yesterday from the free summons or today, and I fed it to my Arby, so he's only a imprint. Bologna's just on World Boss gear. My Basar is just on random gear. He's there in case I need to draft him to become a must ban for the opponent. And having Taiga Hells, it, it'll, it'll work just fine. Uh, honestly, it's some bullet he can survive. He's on immunity. He, it's it's enough the effectiveness doesn't matter because i'm soul burn it so if they pick like vivian and units that i need to need to draft them against at least i have them as an option that's one thing that i'm like big on is at least having gear on the units because if you have fourth and fifth pick or fifth pick and you have one of these like even if they're half built sometimes it's just the unit choice that can win you the game and the draft versus whether it's on insane gear or not you don't have to have insane gear on every unit as you see most of my gear isn't that great so here's my Vivian. Uh, she has one Reforge left. She's on Dignus Orb. The problem is I only have one Dignus Orb, and ML Luluk is coming, so I don't know what I'm going to do in that case, as to because I want Dignus Orb on ML Luluk, so I don't know what I'm going to do with Vivian. Uh, the, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and we just had a Vivian banner, so Dignus Orb is not coming back anytime soon. So, But that that's her build. Uh, the ring, it's going to give me a little bit more speed, and the crit chance I need, well, one, so I'm at 99.4. Uh, I did lose a tournament because my Vivian was on like 90% crit chance, 92 during that tournament. My Rowan is just on whatever gear. If I have to pick her, I never will pick her, so she, I just put gear on her. Honestly, I need to steal this for someone who I could actually use. Um, General Pergus is my front take Wyvern, 13 General Pergus. And he's just, he works, nothing special. Uh, I guess I do draft him in RTA sometimes against like AoE cleaving control comps uh, just to try to get that constant CR push. So he does see some RTA picks, but the problem is he's hard to pick an RTA when uh, you don't play. So I just have random gear on my Judge Kisei. I don't use Judge Kisei for anything. If I were to use Judge Kisei, I'd build around a fast 230 speed build or whatever, uh, and with high effectiveness and just a little bit of damage. So that would be her build if I used her. So my LQC is pretty decent. She has a good amount of bulk. She has a good amount of damage. She's on Secret Scythe. She is a very good pick in case they pick Caesarado against me, then I could pick her. Uh, so a lot of times when I'm playing CC teams like Big Fire, Sneaker, Movie, stuff like that, they are Broman, especially when I pick Broman. They'll pick uh, Champions Rado, and if it looks like I need to deter my draft away from crowd control, I'll throw her in, and she becomes almost a must ban, or else that Champ Z is just going to get one shot. So that's basically what she's there for. 
She's like said, she's on okay gear. She has this reforge left. This ring is going to give a lot of stats on reforge. Uh, the five percent attack plus a lot of defensive stats. She is really low crit chance, but like I said, she's only really there for picking against currently champ Z. And I pick her against Rylet occasionally. Actually, if if the draft's looking weird, I'll pick her against Rylet because if, as long as she has eighty five, she's going to hit those dark units, and that's that's the main goal behind her. So my fighter my I don't use her uh, normally. I could draft her. She will hit very very hard, but. I don't don't use her too much. That's part of why I'm farming Banshee right now is I'm trying to get a couple new pieces to even her out. Um, but she's just not not quite what it, where I want her, so I just don't don't currently pick her. So then we have Last Rider Crow. He is two eleven or like no, I actually I unbuilt him. As you see, he has a seventy necklace. I do not have Bruiser gear. I'm farming. He's on a sixty seven chest too. I'm farming. I'm trying to get Bruiser, uh, Bruiser slash tank slash healer gear. But I just don't have it. I, I don't know if I just am too picky when I see it or what, but I just can't get the pieces. So my Mercer, I went ahead and changed her up a bit. Uh, she is on uh, a 224 speed, and she has a couple reforges left. So 29.11. She's on a plus 27 Midnight Dream Blade. I need to finish leveling that. That's one of the problems I really have is I do not have enough artifact charms to level everything. Um, we'll eventually get them, but for right now, it's a little rough. But that's what I'm going to be using her as, like, an anti-cleave. So... Uh, if I put her in, she's not very bulky. I'd like a little bit more bulk. Uh, she'll get a little bit from this, but for right now, I think it could work pretty well. We'll see. I'm going to be doing a lot of testing over the next few weeks. Specimen says just on World Bus Gear. Tempest Cern. So I did just recently build Tempest Cern. Uh, I have around 100% crit chance, 300 crit damage, 190 speed. I would like the speed to be more, but as you see, I'm on like this free piece. Um, actually, 13 over crit chance cap. So I'm trying to farm Banshee to make her a little bit better, but having no luck um i also put this on when she was uh lower level i put i built her when she was level 50 i was like damn this ring is a lot but actually an attack percent ring still ends up being better so i'm probably going to try to move this on to somebody else um it's pretty soon but for right now she works uh i think i used her once and she did okay damage the only problem was she was a molded i do need to finish these molds and she will be much much stronger uh, yeah, because I think it was just I barely didn't do enough damage to heal enough, and I need to get the last 3%. So she is a very, very new project that I think I just 6 started yesterday and built her. So Faithless Lodica, uh, I do not care too much about Faithless Lodica anymore. She's a pick that I can, I'll pick when I can, but the problem is I can never pick her. She's always banned. Uh, she's usually pre-banned. So or it's either her or Broman that will be pre-banned against anybody that I do know. So, looking at her, she's 270 speed. 270 is enough for me. I do not use her to speed contest. I do have a different speed contesting unit. Uh, I feel like you, if you use Flitica to speed contest, you're kind of wasting effort. You can just build ML Ren um, or one of the units with 124 base speed, uh, Acid, ML Ren, Fire Lytica, um, other units, two speed contest. So, that's my opinion on it. I have a 139 effectiveness. I would like a little bit more, but for right now, she works, but I'm not giving her too great of gear. Because she, I can't ever play her hardly. So, Roman. So, I have been trying to figure out what to do with him. He is, like, the single-handed unit that carries me in our team. When he gets through, he slays. When he doesn't get through, he doesn't slay. But now everyone knows I have Roman. So, like I said, see the Fates Leader Broman that gets banned. And the people that Broman through, they let him through because I have Acid. And then they draft two units that I have to deal with. So, the Acid would silence my Broman. Uh, so right now, I was like, whatever, I'm going to give up, like, 10 speed on him. I'm going to give up, I think I gave up 20% effectiveness, and I just gave him immunity set. So he has 161, that's enough to hit most units. Can't hit Momos, I can't hit Rays, but I couldn't really hit those anyway, so I don't, I think it's not really worth going too, too crazy high in the effectiveness category. Uh, if you can, good. If you can't, I feel like immunity is just so much better, at least personally for me. So this is the build, plus 30 Abyssal. Uh, if he does proc, usually win the game. So this way I could draft him into an Acid. The Acid goes. It doesn't It doesn't kill me. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. As long as I have like one of my knights in play. And then he will proc an S3 and hopefully control the enemy team. So my Ruel, uh, I'm trying to build her. Right now she's just on what I could scrounge up in terms of gears. You see I'm missing four reforges. Uh, I do have Touch Echoes, which I will be using. I'm trying to get, like I said, a couple of these units ready. But for right now, this is where I'm at until I can like replace. Like this is not that great. It rolled okay, then it rolled the last two times minimum attack roll. So it almost was like the best piece ever. Then plus twelve, plus fifteen, it rolled double attack, which sucks. And then this this piece is pretty damn good, but I do need more effectress. So 
that is one thing we will be trying to work on. My APOC Ravi, I guess, is kind of usable at this point. Once I reforge, she's like, she'll work. 21k HP, well, a little over 21k HP, decent defense, 185 speed. It'll be 100% crit chance. Actually, over 100%. No, it's 100%, because this will get 4. 21, yeah. So 100% crit chance to be a little over 260 crit damage. She's usable if I want to, but, man, she just has fallen off so far in the RTA meta that I can't get myself to to do it. And the only way she does work is if you build her on, like, the crazy 30k HP, but I just don't have the gear for that, at least free gear laying around. So here's my phone, Cecilia. I did make her a lot faster from the last time I've really shown her. 216, 28505. She is there for anti-cleave. She is there to just help me survive in a team comp where I know I need to kind of have some survivability. So she is one of my more played knights. If they pick Clary, I'll usually end up picking Fallen CC just so I have some mitigation if I'm not going to pick Rose. So my Arbiter Villager, my Arbiter Villager, I did finally get an imprint for yesterday. I was very excited, so I finally have the 6% attack. Uh, I do not usually... You guys know I don't do arena, so I don't buy slates. Uh, I'm very inefficient as a player, but even with being inefficient, as long as, like, I, as, long as you have the unit options, you can kind of push an RTA. So I would like him to be on immunity, but I just do not have what I need yet. I need more speed pieces with more crit chance. Uh, I need like this. I need a replacement for this. This is super low rolled, but he's. Yeah, I'm happy with him overall. He's he does a lot of damage, so it it, it works. And I got the plus thirty. So if he gets greater, usually you win the game at that point. So a hey, is just on world boss gear for right now. I I moved her gear to blue Kise. And we're because Blue Key say gives herself a barrier and just seems a little bit better overall right now for me personally, uh, because she will do a bit more damage than Akoli does, and she does have the turn rotation cycling on her S3 and her S1 does insane damage. So I just I will eventually. You, if you know me, you know I love Assassin Coley, but same with BBK, same with Brightwatch Sarah. Most of my units got thrown in World Boss gear. C Dom's on more so World Boss gear, uh, kind of usable i guess but mostly world boss gear so here's my specter tenebria uh this does need to be reforged just to give me an extra five percent crit damage put me up 276 and i have 177 speed so she is and it'll give me a bit more attack so almost 3700 attack i did weaken her because i did get these boots and they were worse than the immunity boots i had on her but i feel like she's still strong enough to to use on most things i do bring her on tiger health because tiger health having those books is huge so then the last unit that I really have to show, I feel like, is Lytica. So Fire Lytica, I have her at 292 speed. She is my speed contestant unit. And the nice thing with Lytica is you don't really have to, if you're going to be speed contesting, you don't really need to worry about crit chance on her. You don't really need to worry about anything. So you can just throw your faster gear on her. You don't even need the effectiveness, honestly. It just happened to be one of my faster pieces was effectiveness ring. So I just put this on. It works pretty dang good. The only problem with her, she's like Clary. She has three 15% checks to her skill three so there's a chance you won't push back there's a chance you won't strip so there's a very high chance you get screwed if you're going for a unit that does have immunity but it, it, i mean that's just a game but she is a unit that i heavily push as well as ml rent ml rent honestly might be a little bit better overall because you can stun a unit and give your team aoe immunity for two turns which i think might be a bit better but i love as you see it's the only skin i've ever bought um with the points i'm waiting for another skin that i like but that is her all the rest of the units just are on world boss gear basically for right now i'm not using any of them blazing i use for uh raid uh lorena i use for what's it called sometimes ml haste is kind of built uh i will pick him against rb teams occasionally but he's i need new boots once i get new boots he'll probably be a little bit better if i can just get some speed speed rolls on hp percent boots uh, and then I could use him. But other than that, that is my account. So as you see, if you, I have been Legend almost all of the season. I was, for like the last two weeks when Getra first came out, I was Legend. And then I went on a huge losing spree on stream and I entered 100 points away. And then I climbed up back a little bit. And I lost some because I did get, I think I got one Day of Decay. Because it was a 100 point loss from that, uh, from doing Abyss. But you know, I was at like 23 something, but I've done a couple of fights this morning and climbed a little bit but i just lost the last one because this team just did not work but i'm like i said i'm trying to learn units i hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully some of the stuff i went over can help you in determining how you want to build some of your units um i like i said i'm gonna be trying to focus more on like the bruiser characters not bruiser knight meta not it's not really the meta at all but bruiser knight units 
to kind of even out my draft so that just in case I do need other options, I will have them instead of just having all damage options. But like I said earlier, the blue case a video will be up probably soon. I'm going to be actually going to RTA right here and trying to get a couple matches. And I don't think there's anything else to show. I can show my Guild War defense, I guess. Here, I'll show my Guild War. No, actually, no, I do not have my Guild War defense set up. But I will be trying to make some Guild War videos as well. So if you guys are new to the channel, if you're willing to subscribe, that'd be awesome. Uh, if you like the video, it helps too. If you have any questions, comment them down below. It's been Mitch or DD. I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.